today I have something really exciting to share with you. It is a fabric haul. Woo! One of my favorite things to share because it's all about daydreaming and experimenting in your head with what you can make, what is, you know, the potential is for each fabric piece and like I just sometimes like I'll watch my own fabric hauls because I'm like, wait a minute, what was I thinking of making with that? I don't even remember. And like I'll go back and watch and I'm like, oh, that's such a good idea. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but anyways. Um, I have a lot of fabric coming in and I will be doing fabric hauls with that later. But this is just kind of like my first order. Um, it's just some stuff that I ordered probably around my birthday, I think, was like April 12th. Um, but I ordered it around then, so, um, there are three stores here. So the first thing I'll go through is what I got from Lamazi Fabrics. Y'all know I love Lamazi Fabrics. She has such a nice collection of fabrics. Everything is super high quality. She carries, um, all of my favorite brands, like See You at Six, Atelier Burnett, and then, like, the Lamazi Fabrics themselves are really nice, um, really really just nice selection so I like to go to her store because I know that I'm probably gonna like almost everything on there <laughs> so I don't have to search around too much um, so this first up is a mind the maker um, it's a coral viscose twill um, like dress fabric and it's really pretty it's very drapey has lots of movement I almost didn't get this colorway because I think there's like a, a tan colorway or white color it colorway because um, it's a little bit uh, darker so it kind of reminds me of autumn but I've started to kind of break those rules a little bit because I some of this fabric is just so beautiful and I want to sew with it anyway and if I mix it with something else like um, that looks like spring or summer then um, it can change the whole look of the outfit so it doesn't really bother me that it's um, more of a fall color um, and so I have a couple of ideas, but this is probably going to change, but this is just us daydreaming together. Um, I have this LB Textiles Cornell shirt, which is just a button down shirt. Um, and it is really good for just a casual shirt with like a pair of jeans, but like it still looks nice, nice cause it's a button down has like a mandarin collar, which I kind of like. I think it's a little bit more relaxed and modern sometimes. Um, and yeah, so I really want to try that. So maybe this will be a good thing for that. You'll notice for this fabric, I'm just keep thinking of button down shirts. I don't know why. Like you, when you look at it, you think probably a dress, but apparently I, I want a button down shirt. Who knows? Um, Here's another one. I just got this shirt and haven't made it yet. It's called the Vlada shirt. I think that's how you say it, but I'm not sure. And it's by Linoline Patterns. And it's just got this nice little open area, which I tend to like because um, I have a smaller chest area and I feel like low v-necks and open, even though this is not that low, open areas here um, just make me look a little bit better. I don't know why it does, but it just does. So. Um, if you don't like it open there, then, you know, you could, you, you could choose something more like this shirt and you could actually leave it all the way buttoned up the Cornell shirt. But anyways, I love this look has a little bit of a poof sleeve and a little cuff. So I thought that would be nice. And this once again is almost exactly the same. This is like a V-neck. I've made this before in a black grayish linen. Um, and it has buttons down the front, little poof sleeves, and then a tie right there. So I think these are all be really good choices for this and then again I might just make a dress I don't know <laughs> but anyways that's the first fabric I got from Lamazi okay the next fabric I got is so beautiful it's called starry night uh, gray cotton double gauze and it's like a it says gray but it's really like a gray blue it has like a uh, blue um, undertone I guess really sweet little sparkles here and I have to admit or confess when I first saw this fabric I thought this is kind of like holiday maybe? Does it look holiday-ish? you know, -ish? And so I um, 
I wasn't sure about how it looked because it was so sparkly, but I was like, I think I actually really like it. And I had an idea to hack a pattern that I haven't used yet, but I've been wanting to make, and it's the Seamwork Emmy Top. It's basically like a simple, like, peasant top with like the, you know, little gathered neckline with a little string, you know, that, that's passing through it and that just hangs down with an open kind of v-neck feel. Little, um puff sleeves but not too puffy just more like a relaxed puff but I thought it'd be really cool to make this shorten it a little bit put like an elastic there and then um have it go down and be a dress and maybe have like slits on the sides or something like that I thought that that would be really pretty or I might make it like a midi um length dress with like a ruffle on the bottom or something I don't know I just kind of want to play with this top and I think it'd be really pretty in double gauze but We'll see. Um, so that was also from Lamazi Fabrics. So the next fabric is beautiful. It is a striped cotton and it has these embroidered hearts on it. Um, so it's just called Embroidered Cotton Blouse um, Stripes Blue and I've got two meters of it. It's so pretty. Look at those hearts. Okay, I am like a sucker for hearts. I love hearts on everything. I love them on my ears as earrings. I love them on fabric. I love them yeah that's about it I just love them so I think this would make a really good ready to sew Justine skirt because I really love this pattern I keep coming back to it and the stripes would be so awesome as a as a um, straight skirt with buttons down the front like red buttons or something to match the hearts like I would love that. Now I do have a tendency to make things like skirts and pants and shorts and things like that out of um, like busy fabric. <laughs> so I really need to start making um, garments that are solid colors so I can mix and match. Like for instance, if I actually did just make a top out of this, it would probably go pretty well with this skirt. But anyways, just something I've learned about myself. And I learn it, but then I never learn because I keep doing the same thing, but it's fine. Um, okay, so the next thing from Lamazi Fabrics is, uh-oh, <laughs> hold on, got it, all right, so it's something I've already made, um, and I absolutely am in love with it, um, it is called a Labelia, I think, cotton twill, and I made some Winslow collots out of it hard to see so it's going to be much better when you see them on but they are gorgeous they have a um, invisible zip and they kind of have these pleats here and they flare out this is a pattern that I love and I visit over and over um, and I plan on making many more pairs of shorts preferably solid but for right now I just have these and this is beautiful fabric. It kind of feels like a cotton lawn. I thought it was gonna be a little bit thicker, but it still works perfectly for this um, pattern. So that is already made and I just got it in the mail. I just could not wait to make it. So I wanted to show you that. Um, one more from Lamazi Fabrics. Let me pull it out. All right. So this is some Atelier Burnett, which I can never pass up Atelier Burnett. Um, it's Sunset Night Cotton Crepe. And it's got these little suns here. It's very, very, very beautiful. It's like, feels like a double gauze and it's got, it's got, it's a little bit see-through. So I had a couple of ideas for this. Um, one of them I actually did not get out, but it's called the Violet Dress, I think by Republic de Chiffon. And I'll pop up a picture of that above. Cause I think it'd be really pretty as a dress like this with some like brown sandals in the summer. I hardly ever wear black, but I'm starting to go to it a little bit more for the summer because I feel like it goes so well with like khaki and brown. And like, it just is such a classic look that I'm starting to kind of get drawn towards it, but black, the color black really does nothing for me, but like when I mix and match it with other things, it looks really good. So I'm starting to sew with it a little bit more. Um, but I had this idea to make the poppy play suit out of it, which I've made before a long time ago. Um, I don't have the garment anymore because I found 
that the bodice was like way too short for me and the um the uh waistline was like up to here when it really needed to be up down here um so i'm probably gonna add like two inches or so to the bodice but i would i think i would want to make the shorts version and then i could wear that with so many things this summer so i really think i'm gonna make that with this so that's everything from Lamazi. Now I'm gonna move on and go to a store from Portland, that's in Portland, Oregon. It's called Sewing Studio and I shop from her all the time. Um, and I met her in person. Her name is Carlene and she is a lovely. But the first thing I got from her is this linen with these tiny little like printed daisy looking flowers, I guess. Um, I don't know why I fell in love with this, but I thought it was so great. I love the color for summer. Um, and the first thing I thought was just like a simple summer dress, like with very simple lines and, you know, just something that like is light and breezy. And so the first thing that popped into my head was the Demeter dress by Anna Allen Clothing. I've made the shirt and I love the neckline. I like wide necks um, and that's kind of what it was. And so I think I really like the dress and it would be nice and floaty and like cool for summer. And I really like the thought of that. So I think I'm gonna make that or something very similar, the peppermint everyday dress, which I haven't made yet, but I've been wanting to make. Um, and it is um, a pattern that I've print out that I've gotta still stick together but it looks really simple and really nice so i think i might want to do that one also but we'll see um so that's that one that one was from uh sewing studio another one i got from sewing studio was this cotton black and white clip dot so i don't know if you can see once again it's black fabric i don't know what's happening to me or what's coming over me <laughs> but um so it's these black clip dot things and so it's like they've you know sewn something in and then clipped it off and then it's like just frayed at the dot um and it's really pretty and it feels really nice it's got these dots but they're not like they don't bother you um and it's smooth on the inside so i don't know why but i have made a pippet loungewear set recently by common stitch and i absolutely loved it and so i don't know why but this was calling to me um to be loungewear and specifically be pajamas because i just thought that it would be really pretty um and so with like of course some pretty like pearl buttons or um like mother of pearl buttons or maybe even like some brown buttons i was thinking would be good too but there's white here so i don't know if i'll like that i'll have to hold up some buttons and see but anyways this is i forgot to hold the pattern up this is what it looks like and yeah so i might do that i have a couple of other ideas for it but um i still might change my mind so anyways moving right along so that's everything from sewing studio and i did order from her again in my second round of things that i'm going to talk about for my fabric haul in another video so you'll get to see what i ordered from her more recently but next is another fabric store i am in love with she has amazing prints um, she has a lot of cottons, she has a lot of Georgette, she has a lot of um, stretch chiffon and things like that. Um, uh, some of it, or a lot of it is polyester, but it's like really nice polyester. It hangs really well, it seems to be breathable for me. Um, so I tend to purchase it if it has a really good pa uh, print on it. And she has the sweetest prints, and so I recently got this one which i love i don't think i could ever 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 get enough tiny little flowers in my fabric stash fabric stash <laughs> i am obsessed with tiny flowers i don't know why um anyway and i've been like that for a while but like for the sun like it's kind of started last summer and then this summer i've like exploded into it um but this is called cozy ditzy floral and it's from Alyssa may design these are little parts i make by the way that's what i'm reading um just so i can know where the fabric is from and what it is um and i have two yards of it so i was kind of thinking 
of making another sagebrush top, which I have already made one that I've posted and I have another one I've made into something really cool and exciting that I'm gonna blog about and haven't shared it yet. But I also have um, plans to make maybe a dress out of this top. And so I was thinking if I had enough, which I don't know if I will, but it's pretty wide, um, I could make this and then I could crop it just a tad, just like I was gonna do with that other um, top, with the Emmy top, um, and then I, well not crop it, okay, so I would make it really long actually, but I would appear to crop it, and this is what I meant with the Emmy top as well, with like a little elastic lace or something, uh, waist, ex excuse me, a little elastic waist. Um, so then it would just be like a dress, but I kinda wanna cinch in at the waist a little bit. So I may do that. I've also seen um, some ways that you can put like little ties that come out on each side to cinch in the waist. That's kind of a fun idea too and I might think about doing that. Um, what you have to do typically, I just made a dress like this. You put like little buttonholes and like some bias binding on the inside and then you just like pat, you put the buttonholes on the front and then you pass the ties through and then you can tie them at the side. You pass one in the back and one in the front. So that's a cool way too to have um, some detail. And then I could, I'll probably just leave a, the hem plain or I might add a little ruffle. We'll see. I love ruffles. <laughs> anyway. Just some thoughts, but I, I this is one of those fabrics where like I want to use it for everything, so I think that it's gonna change probably about 20 times before I decide. <laughs> Just being honest. <laughs> um, this is another thing I had considered for that fabric is to make this McCall's M8001 in DC. So I've also thought of making that with it. Um, last thing I'm really excited about. Guess what's on it? Da, 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 da. hearts <laughs> surprise surprise okay so I got um, this from Alyssa May design as well it's chambray hearts cotton um, and it's 58 inches wide which is pretty wide two and a half yards is what I got I think I was thinking I might want to make a dress out of it which I might still do so this is the first thought I had was to make a view D in this McCall 7946 um but I really like I really like VOD because I really like the bottom ruffle, but I don't like the three it's like three layers of elastic like tunneling inside. I don't really love the look of that and I would rather do sh elastic shearing if I could. So I might change that to shearing and I might put the elastic at the top or just shear it at the top and then leave like some room without shearing for uh my chest area and then shear like in the um, the waistline. So I feel like that would look really cool. So I might just do that. But I'll have to see how the pattern is constructed. But yeah, I don't like the elastic look for some reason. I just feel like it could look so much better with the shearing. But anyways, um, oh, one more idea. I really wanna make this top, I'm so dramatic today. <laughs> I really want to make this top uh, Republic by Republic de Chiffon. It's called the Ilda top. And I thought that this would be really cool as like the main body of the top. And then um, just have like a little contrast for that little square line there. Um, I think I'd really like that. But I don't know what to contrast it with. And I know I want to make this top, but I don't know if I want to use this fabric. Because then I would have a lot left over. But, however... I am not feeling near as guilty about having fabric left, left over anymore because I have a little fabric hoarder slash stealer named Emma Smith who's 11 and she is taking all of my scraps and making beautiful things with it and she's really gotten into sewing. In fact, I had to kick her out so I could video my YouTube because she won't get out of my sewing room. <laughs> But I could not be happier. I'm so excited and now if I don't, I don't have to feel guilty for not use, like utilizing an entire piece of fabric um, and having left over because I know that I can share it with her. Anyways, sorry for such a long video. That was very long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, you may see none of these makes. Um, 
because I am completely random and I change my mind all the time. I'm constantly being inspired by all of you guys, everyone on Instagram, the fashion magazines, you know, everything. I'm constantly like, ooh, ooh, I mean, I just wanna make that, I wanna make that. Oh, no, 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 I want this now. So, um, yeah, but these are my thoughts right now. Some of them may stick, some, some of them may not. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I have a lot more fabric coming. Um, and stay safe and I hope you guys are staying well and love you guys so much. Please, 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 um, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or even if you just want to say hi, hit the subscribe button down below if you want to be, um, on the list and notified if I have another video, just hit the um, notification bell. And then if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up so other people can find it a lot easier. Um, that's it. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. I wonder if you should change it because it's really bright. Nah, it's fine.